Good evening. My name is Dr. Darwin Burrow, and I'm here to talk to you about evolution. The phrase survival of the fittest is often used within an evolutionary context to illustrate Darwin's postulates for natural selection. However, many times the phrase is taken too literally. Survival of the fittest does not necessarily always correlate with the biggest or strongest or healthiest organism, but rather an organism's ability to get its genes to the next generation. A vivid example of fitness can be seen in butterflies. Monarch and the butterflies butterflies are wing patterns and colors, although they are not the same species. This is because viscerite butterflies mimic monarch butterflies in an attempt to avoid predation. This particular mimicry is a type of Basbatian mimicry because the palatable viscerite butterflies mimic the unpalatable monarch butterflies. Monarch butterflies are toxic to predators due to the milkweed that they ingest as caterpillars. Consequently, predators have learned to avoid butterflies with black and orange wings of a particular pattern. Therefore, in this environment, the fittest organism is the one that displays the characteristics similar to the toxic monarch. First, we see a bird attempting to attack a toxic monarch butterfly. However, the bird learns that the butterfly is toxic and thus flies away. In this clip, the bird happens upon a monarch and a viceroy butterfly. However, the bird mistakes the palatable viceroy butterfly for that of a toxic monarch and leaves both species alone. This next clip illustrates the idea that the fittest organism isn't always the strongest or fastest. The gray and purple butterfly is clearly larger and faster than the viceroy butterfly. However, in this scene, the gray and purple butterfly is unable to escape predation despite being superior to the viceroy butterfly. The bird leaves the two mimics alone while setting his sights on the other species. The monarch and the viceroy with their seemingly, quote, unfit qualities have been left alone to go about their day and hopefully reproduce. Viceroy butterflies have shown that natural selection and evolution is not about strength, speed, or size. It is about a set of characteristics that are advantageous for a particular environment that aid in the survival and reproduction of the species. A common misconception is how these beneficial characteristics arise. It is not species wanting to adapt. Natural selection leads to the adaptation of species over time. But this process does not involve effort at all. Adaptations naturally occur as a result from genetic variation within a population. These variations result from mutations. This mutation can either be beneficial, as in the case of the viceroy, or they can be harmful. Natural selection, by way of mimicry, is not isolated to that of the butterfly. Recently, within the field of microbiology, a bacterium has been discovered that mimics the structure of its host. A bacterium randomly generated a mutation that coded for a structural phenotype that was similar to that of its host cell. Since the novel bacterium structure reduced the innate immune system's response of the host, the bacterium was able to survive, infect, and reproduce. Over time, this structural mutation became prevalent due to the increase in its fitness it provided in the bacteria. <laughs> 